Hello everyone and welcome to this series about IPython Notebook. This is the third part and it's about basic Python. In this tutorial, we'll be um, uh, looking to how to work with um, code cells. Uh, we can um, execute code cells uh, by hitting shift and enter, um, a keyboard uh, shortcut for that, or control and enter. Shift and enter will execute a code cell and move you to the next one, like this. Um, control and enter will execute a code cell and keep you within the same cell, like this. So your focus is still on the same cell. Uh, one important thing you want to do is you want to get help about uh, a certain object to have in your coding environment. In here we imported I.O. and we want to know more about it. We add a question mark to the end of it and execute that code cell and this will pop up this help window at the bottom where we can know more about this. If we need to need, uh, know even more um, about it, we can add double question mark and this will actually show us more um, about uh, I.O. Actually, it's showing us here the complete source code plus the doc string, uh, which is the help string of this that showed up in the previous one. Um, IPython magic. Um, there are a lot of um, codes for IPython magic. And here we're looking at quick rip. Uh, this will return a quick reference for IPython with all other uh, magic available and um, uh, a lot of help that might uh, you might need um, whenever you're looking for a quick reference for example to get history um, auto call a lot of um, uh, line magic and block uh, magic available also in here um, Another thing, you can close that by hitting the separating line. Um, another thing you want to do is help. Sometimes you want to get help regarding um, a function, for example, open function, which opens a file, and it will tell us this opens a file using blah, blah, blah. So, and this is the uh, parameters, and this is what it returns. Um, so we know how um, does uh, open work. Uh, we can open the interactive help shell, uh, which will look like this, and we can uh, show us open, and it will show us the same thing. We can always quit that by typing quit, and it will get us out of the interactive uh, help environment. You can get more information about what you're working with, uh, pdoc, pdf, psource, um, and pfile. This is all magic that we read more about um, what you're working with. And finally, the file. This is how you get more information about them. PDoc, PDIF, PSource, and PFile. But mostly you will be working with the single and double question marks to get help about uh, objects you're working with. Tab completion is uh, one of the most important um, things we have in IPython notebook. So if you um, hit tab after um, adding a dot, you will get you can explore and browse um, everything inside this object. So you can start typing V and you will it will filter out um, only things starting with V. We can see that we have, virgin info for example then we can um, add a dot again and tab and it will give us more information so we can see our major um, part of the virgin uh, for python it's two we can check our uh, minor it should be seven yes so it's 2.7 we can check our micro so it's 2.7.6, the version we're working with. We can look at more things like uh, version and it will return the complete string. Um, one more thing is um, shift tab. You go inside the parentheses of any uh, function and you hit shift and tab and you will get this pop-up box telling you more about this function, the parameters, things like this, things you might need to 
uh, use uh, a function. A lot of functions do have uh, uh, a doc string that covers anything that you might need on the fly to work with uh, a function. So let's look at uh, more magic. Uh, one important thing is uh, LS magic. This lists all available magic that you have in your development environment. Um, these are line magic and these are cell magic with the double percentage um, with the double percentage single percentage a mark will um, affect uh, a single line this will affect the whole cell uh, so let's see how do they work we have time it this is a very common one uh, time it will time any uh, time anything that comes after uh, time it so let's try to um, create a list of a thousand items using two different functions and time and time them to see what's more time efficient for us uh, it's executing them in loops and measuring the time they take to um, execute this might take a little bit of uh, time actually we will be taking a little bit of time um, here okay uh, did it um, 100,000 uh, loops, best of three is 13.8 uh, uh, microseconds for the first one. And for the second one, it did it in 198 nanoseconds. So this is much faster than this. Uh, we can time, we can um, time whole blocks using time it, uh, the cell uh, format of time it. This will time everything inside the block make sure you put it in the first line even if you have some important comments add them in the second line don't add anything before the cell magic so we can time this block and it will execute this loop over and over and we can uh, compare it to this cell to see which one does better and this does slightly better than this because it uses X range instead of range. Um, reset. This resets all our variables. We have to press yes in here if we do. If we don't actually. Um, bash. I've talked about this a little bit. But it's always good to remember bash. Uh, this is really important. Very useful. You will always um, need to access something in the terminal. And instead of jumping back to the terminal to do something, you can always use the um, double percentage bash uh, magic, uh, cell magic, and add any um, code you um, want to execute in the terminal right from the uh, notebook. Input and output. We can let's try three plus five again. So we have our input number twenty-two giving us output eight. Let's get um let's check this n of 22 this returns uh whatever was in our cell number 22 uh, and it's three plus five it's a string of three plus five uh, we can access our output uh, output of 22 and it will return eight so we can ha we still have access to every input and output and they are in two lists, in and out lists. And you can access them easily just by referencing the number. Um, you have the underscore. So underscore plus three. This will always reference the last um, output you have. So in here, we can say uh, underscore plus three, which is eight plus three. It's like answer in the calculator. So eight plus three is 11. 11 minus 4 is 7 we can even go further and say for example uh, times 2 and that would be 14. Uh, this lesson is available open source on github and it's viewable on nb viewer uh, the link to this do uh, document is in the description uh, below um, you can use that as a reference whenever you're working with ipython uh, thank you for watching and uh, I hope if you like this you will subscribe and watch the fourth part of this series and it's about NumPy basics. Thank you for watching.